This message of Mother Earth is a follow-up on a previous message that's called a time of transition. It's also available on our channel. For her, it's very important to let us know that in this time of transition, we are responsible for two things, being co-creators. One is that we need to deal with the energies that we have messed up on Earth. And secondly, we are already invited to work with new energies that come in from the stars. Native people call the star nations our ancestors. Based on the belief that we come from the stars, and this is a belief that is held in many traditions. That connection between us and our family in the stars is increasing in this time. And the invitation is to learn to work with those energies. And this message is an invitation to do so. While Mother Earth gives her message, I show, like I did in time of transition, images of multi portals. I call them that way because there are actually places where more than one portal are coming together and bring in energies. These are the connections to the star systems. And it is those star systems that provides this new information. And we are invited to learn to work with that. We are going to develop a program, an online course, that will help those who are interested to work with these kinds of energies. And through that, bringing more energy, more new energies into Mother Earth as part of the move, the transition into a new phase of functioning of humanity and as a consequence of the whole planetary system. That is still future, but the message is the beginning of this process. Now follows the message. One of the things that many people tend to forget is that the Earth is not an isolated sphere hanging somewhere in the universe. The Earth is an integrated part of many different systems in ways that the current people, humanity as it functions on in this world, have no clue of. But it is important that this awareness is beginning to come more commonly into your can say awareness, consciousness, collective consciousness. You cannot continue to function from isolation. And you may think immediately, well, most people are already isolated from all living beings on this planet. How can we even begin to think about beings outside or systems outside of us? And yes, that is a very important question. And a question that definitely needs some attention. And the reason that this is the time that it needs to be given attention, more than through a few individuals and small groups, is that in this time of transition, those awarenesses are really important. And the expansion of your ability to connect is very important. In a sense, you can say you need to train in a few different directions. But all of them have to do with connections. In the very first place, you need to connect and learn to connect with yourself. Connecting with yourself seems to be easy. I know about myself and I dare to say, <clears throat> no, you do not know about yourself. Because I, Mother Earth, are suffering daily from the fact that you do not know yourself. So that is step one. 
Step two is awareness of those that you share this world with. That is not only the ones that we call the other people. Yes, you need to learn to work together. You can, in a sense, you can call that step two. But the major thing is to learn to connect with all other beings. Community is not only with other people, community is with all that live in the area that you live with because they are part of your community. And that is true for plants, for trees, for animals, and all the invisible beings. Devas, dragons, it doesn't matter what names you give them, but all of them are part of your community. So learning to connect with your community is the second step. And the third step is to understand that the earth, as just said, is not an isolated system, so that there is also a community outside of the earth that you knowingly or unknowingly are continuously interacting with. And what does that mean? It means that you need to develop your skills, your abilities, your qualities in such a way that you can make all those connections, that you can expand your awareness. In this time of traditions, it is for me the most important message that I can give you. And I will give that in many different ways to you because it is essential, it's crucial. Crucial for the functioning of this planetary system, my system and everyone's, every that lives on it. But it is also crucial for its overall function, my overall function with all of you within the larger context. That is the time of transition from, you can say, a very narrow vision into a very expanded vision. And in that expanded vision, in making more connections, you literally will connect with all kinds of energies that you will bring into my system in such a way that we all can grow and expand and evolve. Sharing with you this, what some of you know, but to put it so clearly, I hope will bring at least some excitement in you awaken some excitement in such a way that you say, yes, I want to contribute to that. So you can choose for yourself how you want to do that, of course, because this is a free will world. It's also important for you to understand those steps. And they all go, in a sense, hand in hand. Because if you connect more with yourself, you will understand that you are a reflection of me. As all the other beings are a reflection of aspects of me. You have the most foolish reflection of me. So you can learn through understanding yourself, you can learn to understand me. And then you will also find that you are not only connected with all that lives on my planetary system, but that you have your connections with those that, for example, the indigenous people call the ancestors, which other people call aliens, and I don't like to use that word because there are no aliens. There are only family members of you out there. That all, in one way or another, through your soul have made a commitment to support you or directly something else on this system because you're all related and they know that relationship exists. So always, and you see that specifically in other worlds like the second and the third world, that your family whether you call them she or inner earth people, it doesn't matter, it's your family here on this planetary system, they still have, to various degrees, connection with the star systems they originated from. I've called you in, from the stars. For many people this is difficult to accept, but it is very important to learn to accept it, because it's the only way to truly connect with who you are, and truly understand your purpose on this planet. Not only in this 
incarnation, but in all the incarnations, that from a certain perspective all exist and are all functioning and working in ways that is way beyond your current understanding. And those ancestors or your relatives in the star systems are ready to help you to go to the next step because in that way you can help me to go in my next step of my evolution. And they have induced already quite some energies into my system and now they are asking you to have the courage to connect with those energies and awaken them. And those energies, interestingly, support all other aspects that I mentioned. It supports you in connecting with you. It supports you in connecting with everything on this planet. And it connects you to connect with them, your family. And as a consequence, you expand and you grow. Being able increasingly to fulfill your purpose. It is for that reason that I ask to start a program that is helping this to happen. The foundations has been laid, but it is now up to you to use that potential to the degree that you can use it as the beginning of a growth and expansion into something that you in this moment cannot oversee and do not need to oversee. The only thing that you need to feel from your heart is whether or not you want to contribute knowing that it will lead this whole system into a new phase. It helps with the transition phase and it will help to speed up that phase so that you can truly to move into something entirely new. Something that some of you call the golden age and some of you call it the fifth world. It all doesn't matter how you call it. It is that understanding that this whole process of evolution is leading to something more expanded, more joyful, more loving, more light. And it's up to you in this phase how this will unfold with what speed it will unfold, but also with how much fun it will unfold. Many of you may have difficulty with what I'm going to say now. Living on me was supposed to be fun, joyful, loving, expanding, always having abundance, is not what as a whole humanity has created. But that is what the future is, to create that. Realize there are many to support you. But bring in those new energies in such a way that they can increasingly be used. And you will see that what I can feel is beginning to unfold is actually unfolding. I've asked the person who is bringing this message to create a program to support those who feel guided to speed up the connection with new energies. If you feel guided, join. You will never regret it. In the contrary, it will expand you in so many ways that you will be grateful that you had the courage to step into it. I thank you for listening to this and I hope that I've been able to inspire you to connect deeper with who you actually are. I love you.